hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a brightening black soap so we're just going to go right into it we're not going to be pounding today i'm going to show you another method of how you can melt your black soap so for easy melting we're going to be grating the black soap into smaller pieces so that it can be very easy for us to be able to melt it this is one wrap of um, black soap that's about 500 um, gram of gram of black soap so we're going to be melt and um, grating it rather with with our grater just make sure that the grater you use is not what you use for cooking so you can just get a separate grater for this purpose make sure you grit it properly at least i know there are some really really big um lumps in black soaps so still grate it even if we're still going to melt it still try to grate it as much as possible we are doing this because when we put it on fire it's going to be as fast as like it's going to be really fast because we've already um grated it into smaller pieces here we've already done all the grating see how small they look now so it will be very easy to work with after that we go straight into putting our honey honey guys is a very 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 good moisturizer to the skin to make your skin look supple soft and make you glow it's a very good moisturizer and it will help you you and your skin with any um rashes or skin issues you have so we're going to be putting approximately 150 ml of black soap i put the remaining when the uh, soup was already in the fire so i just put half of it now then i put the remaining when it was on fire so now we're just going to add the black soup then take it straight to the um cooker please remember that you need to reduce your cooker to the lowest to the lowest like lowest so that this black soap can take time to be able to melt you can see it's already melting i added the other half of the onion it's going to melt i don't want it to melt to to a liquid form that's why if i wanted it to melt to a liquid form i would have added more honey and then left it for a while but i think i'm fine with this texture so this is how it looks i allowed it to cool down for a while because if it's too hot and i then start adding other ingredients um they might lose their properties so, so we're going to be going straight into our turmeric turmeric heals the wound it also has anti-aging properties it lightens your skin it helps with acne and crack wounds so we're going to be using two tablespoons of it it also cures dermatitis too um after that we are going to be going straight into adding our next um powder and that's liquorized root liquorized root powder tones your skin is great for oily and acne prone skin it protects you from sun damage and brightening up your skin so we're going to be using two tablespoons of that too next what we're going to go with the next powder we'll be using is cinnamon powder cinnamon powder is rich in antioxidant it can clear scars and spot i'll be using two tablespoons of that the next powder we'll be adding is sandalwood powder i love this powder so much sandalwood powder has inter anti-inflammatory properties it helps to soften our skin it's good for acne and black hair it's also great for oily skin too so we're using two tablespoons of that the next powder we'll be using is lemon peel powder lemon peel powder is so good it helps in dark spots acne wrinkles it helps to um, lighten dark spots to using two tablespoons of that the next one is sulfur sulfur helps to cure any skin issues like acne patches redness etc it also dries out um, skin cells to help unclog our pores so that's for all the powders we'll be using next we'll be going with our oils 
the first oil we'll be using is palm kernel oil palm kernel oil is a good emollient it helps with intense intense moisture that means it will moisturize your skin very well so we'll be using one tablespoon of that next oil is jojoba oil or we call it jojoba oil <laughs> it helps with skin repairs and damage control it can treat psoriasis too so we'll be using few drops of that the next oil is coconut oil coconut oil reduces inflammation it moisturizes our skin and heal wounds coconut oil is good for acne and protects the skin we're using few drops of that too the next oil we'll be using is carrot oil carrot oil has anti-aging properties can protect you from sun damage and lighten up your skin too so the last oil we're going to be using is lavender oil lavender oil lessen acne it lightens our skin reduces wrinkle and improve our mood that means it's really suiting so after that we are going to go ahead to mix everything together make sure we incorporate all this mixture very well you can see it's very easy to mix now because i already melted it on the stove usually i would have pounded this it's not as if pounding doesn't work but over time i've realized that when we melt the soap it's very easy to add other powders and other serums and oils it's easy to melt it won't take time it won't take your strength on like actually pounding it so here i'm still trying to um properly incorporate all ingredients i have put in there all the ingredients i put in this mixture are 100 percent organic i don't intend to put any serum or uh, any other um maybe like a lightning agent or something these are normal plants that are mixed in uh, grounded into powders and we're putting in our soap so because i know that there's there's a high tendency of water getting into this because this is a soap i decided to put preservatives and that is gemma plus preservative i just added few drops in it to just to be on a safe side because obviously this soap is going to be in the bathroom so there is like a 90 percent chance that water is going to be introduced to this soap so I don't want to read that touch and I don't want my soap to go bad on me because I'm this is actually a big batch so I decided to just add preservative to it you you can decide not to add preservative to it because I didn't even put water but you're going to see why adding preservative sometimes can help even though there is water or there's no water you can see how nice it looks well mixed it looks so i'm still trying to blend sorry, sorry blend i'm still trying to um, properly mix it well i decided not to use my hand because i don't want to probably have dark knuckles or something like that because um black soap is very very dry so that's the finished product i'm about transferring it into my container what i just sprayed was alcohol to just disinfect the container i go after that and then i just pack my soap into the container in case you don't know i sell organic soaps and scrub that's all i sell i don't really sell creams i just do organic soaps and scrub so if you like to patronize me i'm going to put my handle in the description box so you can patronize me i'm in lagos nigeria and i can deliver to you anywhere so this is me filling up 20 um 200 ml 200 gram of um soap With this other one i'm going to be adding something just keep watching keep watching So for this um, batch, I decided to add lemon juice to this. 
simply because i just wanted something different and the truth is if i had put lemon juice in all the batches i would have to start using sunscreen all the time which is not a problem but there are some times i actually forget to use sunscreen so this batch i'm going to be making that i put um lemon juice is going to be used at night you know lemon juice has citric acid and citric acid is just good when you want to use it and don't enter the sun so i'm just going to be using this at night so mixing this it changes the soap entirely at least that one has the one i scooped out of this batch had uh, it wasn't with um what's the thing called it wasn't with lemon juice but i decided to add lemon juice to this so definitely this batch is going to be what i'm going to be using at night simply because of lemon juice is always advisable to use um a soap that has lemon in there at night because there's no sun so you can be able to work very well for you so i just had to i just had to tweak it a little you can decide not to put lemon juice at all it's not compulsory i just saw that i had lemon in my house and i decided to just add it to it because it was already getting spot i just saw it in my kitchen i said okay let me just squeeze it into this other batch so that's how i decided to put lemon in it whichever way you want to use it it will still brighten up your skin because after all this is a brightening black soap lemon or no lemon it will still brighten up your skin because of all the powders and oils that are added to the um black soap so guys this is the finished product of my soap you can see i'm still even trying to decorate it and make it look really presentable <laughs> Oh my god the aesthetic oh my god english is hard the beautician in me will not allow me just put the soap like that i must still make it look really really fine and nice so guys that's how it looks this is like a 500 gram or maybe let me just say 450 gram of soap the first batch is like 200 gram of soap so that's it guys so guys this is the finished product of the two soap this one is with lemon while this other one is not with lemon i had to add lemon to the one in the white cup because i had lemon it's not as if i actually plan to put lemon in the first place so i decided to just separate them this one is going to be used at night that's this one in the white container while the one in the transparent container is going to be used during the day just because i added lemon to the one in the white container the two work will work perfectly fine so um don't worry whether you have lemon or not it will still work yeah so thank you for watching my tutorial i hope you like this kind of video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification and share my videos i'll catch you in another of my video take care and god bless Bye.